Welcome to Centertain's Tutorials. Today we'll teach you how to play Peas, Pirates, and a Potato Bug, the card game. Introduction Peas, Pirates, and a Potato Bug is a book of children's rhymes. The card game, nicknamed P3, is like a mix of a jigsaw puzzle and a simple card game. You can play cooperatively or competitively with two or more players. You play P3 with puzzle cards that allow you to construct complete pictures from the book by combining puzzle cards that are part of the same pictures. The back side of every card has a number that indicates how many puzzle cards are required to complete its picture. There are two different decks you can play with, Set A and Set B. Each set has 15 pictures that correspond to children's rhymes in the Peas, Pirates, and a Potato Bug ebook and paperback book available at teensytales.com. How to play Shuffle and deal three cards per player. Place one card face up between all the players. Put the remaining stack of cards face down. You and the other players should take turns doing one of the following. Place one card from your hand onto the table can connect with another puzzle card to help construct a picture but doesn't need to. Take one card that's already on the table and place it next to another puzzle card to help construct a picture. Swap one card in your hand with the bottom card of the deck. If you placed a card from your hand, draw a new one from the top of the deck. You should always have three cards at the end of your turn. It's now the next player's turn. The goal of the game is to finish constructing as many pictures as possible. You don't need to place all puzzle cards to finish a picture. Wait for the best time to use your cards, and use one card to finish constructing a picture. Different ways to play. If you're playing competitively, whoever finishes constructing a picture should take all of its puzzle cards and place it in a pile next to him or her. At the end of the game, the winner is the one with the most cards. If you're playing cooperatively, Leave constructed pictures on the table and focus on helping each other finish them all so everybody wins. You, a friend, or family member can play alone as well. Scramble the cards face up on the table, then construct the pictures as fast as you can. You can control how long you play by choosing fewer cards. To do this, pick only the puzzle cards to play with that complete the pictures you like the most, and discard the rest. Play for a couple of minutes all the way up to a much longer game, whatever best suits your time frame. Enjoy! Thanks for watching. Now get out and play the game! <laughs> <laughs>